Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. We are standing in an open field, an open gravel field, to reveal finally the new project vehicle that we have. It's an off-roader. Something I've actually been wanting to do for years, and, and over the past like several months, I've actually been exploring these things. But you guys get it. Things are hard to get. Things are hard to attain right now at like an MSRP price. Things are just really tough all over for the world right now. And you know, when certain cars, certain performance cars hit the lot, they are gone. Tough to get, or there's markup. A couple of videos back, actually, we went to explore and take a look at a few different vehicles. So like the Broncos, some of the Rangers, and some of the off-roaders. But that's something that I want to really do on this channel is bring a third project, a third project. So we got Mustang content, we got the new Harley Davidson that we're working on, and we're gonna be building a sick build on that actually, getting started real soon. And now I want to do something off-road. So we got two wheels and then we got a race car, and then we want to do something a little bit more fun off-road and trail related. So we are here to finally reveal, I'm so excited, the new off-road Ford Performance. Well, it's not really Ford Performance, but it's a performance made by Ford, Tremor Ranger. 2022 Ranger Tremor Edition Tremor Package is here. This is going to be our third vehicle to the fleet and now we have something that we can build for off-road use and I wanted to find something that we could start from that had a good foundation and we could grow from the, the, the I guess the ground up uh, so to speak. So this is uh, an awesome package you guys know all about the trimmer i think it actually debuted last year or something like that 2021 but anyway new for our channel this is going to be getting a heavy build just like everything else that we do whether we go fast on four wheels two wheels and now off road this is uh carbonized gray i love the color the grill, I actually don't mind it with the little red inserts there. I may change that, but I'm not hating it. Honestly, at this point, I think it just, it's got a nice little touch with this color. In all its glory, sitting like it does, the stance is beautiful. I am in love with the truck. I've got about 500 or 400 miles, I think about 400 miles that I've driven on the thing so far. Anyway, just giving a little walk around of the vehicle. I like it, man. I like it. So I'm really excited to get started with this, our third project. So a lot of stuff going on in this channel. So whether you're a car guy, motorcycle guy, or a truck guy, you know, please subscribe. Love to have you on the channel. Love for you to be part of this adventure. And I'd also love for you to leave your feedback down below. If you have a vehicle like this, let me know what you've done, your experience, your uh, whether it be good or bad, you know, your whole adventure, your story. I want to know about it and conversate in the comments down below. But this is it, man. This is it. So let's take a look at the interior real quick. If you guys are unfamiliar, you probably are, but just in case you're not, with the trimmer package, what you get. So this is an XLT trim, which I wanted actually over the Lariat. You've got your aux switches up here. You got six different ones, so you can equip all different like light bars and this, that, and the other, and everything is, you know, able to be powered up by a switch. And I think it's really cool sitting right there in its location too, because it's like a constant reminder when you're riding that you're always riding in a trimmer, something a little bit more off-road because it's right there in your line of sight. So something else I really like too is you don't get the base seat. So you get this Alcantara and leather seat, uh, both front and rear. Ford didn't just, you know, forget about us in the rear. We also get the same carried over Alcantara and leather. But love in the truck, tremor. Of course, we need to, you know, do some stuff with the bed. Now that we have a truck, we can do truck things again. So the Rangers actually have a smaller interior, okay? So it's, it's I think it's like a, maybe a little bit longer or wider than the width of a car, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. So yeah, you give up some storage from like an F-150 platform, you know, a little bit of a, a bigger truck, but for, back road stuff and on the trail and so on and so forth, you have a smaller vehicle to play around with, which can be a good thing. You know, sharp turning radius, this has that. It's, it's really good, it's really good, it's really impressive. But I'm in love with the vehicle right now. We're gonna do a lot of cool things with it. Some stuff is, you know, like already on its way, of course. We're gonna be building the truck and we're gonna be doing truck stuff and trail stuff and gonna you know, put lights on it and different things like that. Probably get a, may give it somewhat of a lift. I'm not really sure yet because this does have those upgraded shocks it's not the best Fox suspension out there, but at least it's something. 
And, but I do think some kind of a level up here is probably a good place to start. It's got, you know, it's just got somewhat of a rake, but, and you participated in, I think a couple of videos back, you know, when I went up to that dealership, you know, I asked a question and the whole video was titled around, I need your help. We looked at the Broncos, but they were like way overpriced and everything. So they weren't charging markup, but what they were doing is they were buying them at auction, but they had to buy them at whatever price they were at. This was a dealer ordered truck. So I got it for MSRP, which is amazing uh, these days, you know, because you can't find, at, le at least where I live, you can't find nothing. The Ford dealership down the road from me has a bunch of cars, but they're all green labeled ordered cars. You can't touch them. And if somebody backs out of that deal, there is like 10 to 12 people behind them waiting in line for X vehicle. I found this, I was actually, I've been on the hunt for one of these for a long time and I've kept it quiet, but let's say going on a year, I've actually been trying to find uh, one of these at a good price. And so this is kind of, in a sense, a little bit of a dream come true. Now we do have the Ford Ranger Raptor that's supposed to debut maybe 2023 some point or 2024. You know, will this get replaced by that? maybe this is another way for me to create a little bit of diversity on the channel It's something I've been wanting to do since I was you know like a little kid I've always liked the taco trucks you know the Tacomas with the big wheels and tires but I'm a Ford guy I bleed Ford blue and we had to go with the Ranger and I think it's a great platform it's got the 2.3 EcoBoost that's similar to the one found in the EcoBoost Mustang it actually is pretty peppy it does really good so let's get in the truck real quick go for a short drive and continue our discussion about the future plans we have with this because i think that you guys will be very excited let's go all right so one negative thing already is of course you have um yeah ford 1990s called and they want your key fob back but you know that kind of deal but anyway let's get fired up so really hot guys so forgive me if there's a little bit of noise a little bit of off-road action on the grapple in our ranger tremor edition which is not really to tremor guys is not like a trim level okay it's just a package it's an off-road package it's a step up above like the fx4 it's a lot more off-roady and more more forgiving and you do feel that on the road as well it does drive a little bit more like a uh, an off-road vehicle so you got a lot of suspension travel you got a great platform here to uh, build upon to build off of i don't want to go crazy like i don't think i'm put 35s on here but we do want to put like a bigger tire and you know be aggressive with it and uh do some cosmetics and performance as well you know the engine we can do a couple of things too it's a peppy little car or truck ford mother chicken ranger yeah the, the interior is about to the size of my mustang but you know we got a truck bed and we got somewhat of a back seat there that you know we can do things with so but the off-road capabilities this thing has is, is pretty good for what it is. And we're going to explore that in upcoming videos. And like I said, build the truck. And uh, I, I'm really liking it. The gas mileage, you know, especially these days, you know, it, it certainly, you know, is a blessing in disguise a little bit. As a Mustang costs a fortune to fill up. You know, it's running off of E85 and I get it self-inflicted wounds. We didn't have to do all that. It's kind of my fault, but still it costs a lot gas the other day here was almost six dollars for 93 and i'm running off e85 which burns faster like 30 percent faster so i almost feel like taking out a second mortgage of my house to uh, be able to fund and fuel the mustang but we're on the highway we got the little turbo spooling going on oh that sounds sweet we're boosted see we, we still got a boosted truck ford mother flipping ranger it tracks really well for the off-road suspension. You feel the grabby tires a little bit. Maybe not the best tire out there, but it's good that I guess Ford gave it to us, you know, but this vehicle is really meant for the trail. The Ranger Tremor for me, until the Ranger Raptor comes out, is kind of filling a, a, a need inside that I've had for the, I, all of my life, basically. I, I like trucks, but I really, for whatever reason, like smaller trucks with big wheels and tires, and a lot of you guys are probably similar you know your off-road trail you know kind of vehicle we're not doing anything like a crazy wrangler build or anything like that a jeep wrangler but you know i'm not looking to rock crawl that's not like the intent and purpose behind this but you know it's just cool nonetheless this is kind of feeling like i said that that fantasy i had within for multiple years having a, a smaller truck and be able to you know lift it a little bit and put big wheels and tires on it and 
you know, make it look aggressive and do all those kinds of things. So, but like I said, guys, I'm really excited to have this on the channel as our third build. So a lot of things going on, trucks, Mustangs, bikes, what's next? Boats and airplanes, you know what I mean? Kind of a reshaping of things and, and trying to just be a little bit more diverse. Yes, we want to uh, appease YouTube and, you know, do things that YouTube wants to see, like all you guys out there. But I also have to try to stay true to myself and I haven't really done that for some time. Yeah, we've done the things with the Mustangs and all that, but to find a vehicle like, let's say, for example, the Harley Davidson we just bought, or this, this truck, you know, are things that I really want, not necessarily for YouTube. So it's important that, you know, we don't lose ourselves along the way, and I'm really digging this truck. Plus we got an MSRP. So if I ever wanted to upgrade to like, let's say the Ranger Raptor at some point, if it ever comes out, if we ever see it in the United States, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be coming. But we have a lot of equity uh, in, in this truck as well. So there's a lot of money put down and uh, no, I'm not rich or nothing like that. I know YouTube makes us all look like we're rich. Look, there's a Ranger FX4 and I got the Tremor. Yeah, but back on track. So this will hold some value over time. I bet I can take this thing right now and go flip it you know, go trade it in and actually make money since I bought it at MSRP. I'm not going to do that for some time if we ever did. You know, we don't keep vehicles forever. We're always trying to, you know, stay up to date with the latest vehicles and so on and so forth. But like I said, this, this for me feels, you know, a, a wanted desire that I have had in my life for a long time, a small truck build, something we could take off-road if we want to. I hope that you guys like it. I certainly do. I mean, there was a lot of favor that you guys had in the comments in the past couple of videos for the Ranger if it had certain options and like the Tremor package, but also the Bronco. But the Broncos are just insane money right now. You know, that dealership had one that was fully loaded, but it was 75 grand and I was not about to do that. You know, this was a lot cheaper at MSRP plus that equity going into it. So we're in good shape. The payments are really not very expensive at all, in my opinion, and the insurance is cheap and uh, it's gonna fill that, that desire that I've had since I was, you know, like 12, you know, and deep within. So I'm excited to have the truck. I hope that you guys are too. We're gonna have fun with it. We're gonna explore it. We're gonna, you know, have this adventure off-roading and, and building it and so on and so forth over a period of time in combination with everything else that we have going on. So hope that you guys are excited. Get ready for more content coming your way real soon. And as always, I appreciate every single one of you guys out there watching. God bless all of you. I'll see you next video. Bye. It's a Ford Mother Chicken Ranger. Ford Mother Chicken Ranger. Yeah! We got the little turbo spooling going on. Oh, that sounds sweet. We're boosted. See, we still got a boosted truck. Ford Mother Flippin' Ranger.